So in addition to the shield rework that's coming next season, there's also going to be a big change to frag grenades next season. Now, this is all just leaks, nothing is confirmed yet, but it's not looking good. So we're going to just go under the assumption that this is all legit. Alright, so first we're having Osa get rid of her smoke grenades with frag grenades. I don't know why she can't have both, but alright, whatever. Capitao's getting EMP grenades as a third option, which that that seems deadly. He's already got the smoke and incendiary grenades, and now he can disable electronics? Uh, that, that seems deadly to me. Lion is losing EMP grenades and getting frag grenades instead, and is losing the Gon 6. I never see anyone use the Gon 6, but the fact that he's losing frag grenades to get the Gon 6 isn't inciting a lot of hope. Grim is losing one of his breach charges for EMP grenades. I don't think that's a great change, but fair enough, I guess. He already has two sets of breach charges. IQ is getting her frag grenades back. A lot of people don't know this, but in the older versions of Seed, she had frag grenades, so that's exciting stuff. And Blackbeard and Sens are finally getting frag grenades, so... Yeah, you'd think that that means that they're gonna be useful ops now, but... No. That's because frag grenades won't be able to be cooked anymore. Instead of being able to cook them, we're going to be able to cook stun grenades, which is interesting. I've never seen a game use that mechanic before. Now, I'm not as upset as I should be, but I'm still a little upset. See, Siege is the first Rainbow Six game, like, ever to have a ability to cook frag grenades. And all the other ones, you just kind of threw it and it blew up after a couple of seconds. So, looking at it from that perspective, and even just kind of looking at this as someone who never really picks operators who have frag grenades, it's not, like, crazy to me, but the problem is, is how the frag grenades were developed and implemented into Siege. They were designed with the ability to be cooked. So taking that away just doesn't work. Four seconds still is a really long time for that grenade to go off. By that time... People are going to get out of the way, so I can't really imagine four seconds being all that great a buff, I guess. It, it still seems like way too long a time. Four seconds is plenty of time to just get out of the way, so like this is no longer going to really be an offensive weapon to kill. It's just going to be that thing you might get a kill with if you're lucky, but it's just mostly going to be used to clear utility now, so... Thanks, Ubisoft. It's just such a dumb change, man. Frag grenades are fine already. You only have five operators to get to use them, and I barely see half of those ops used anyway. Also, what about nitro cells? Nitro cells are basically the defending team's version of frag grenades. Like, people complain about frag grenades going off on soft floors right below them, but nitro cells do the exact same thing, and I don't hear that many complaints about that. It just seems like a weird thing to focus on, the frag grenades being able to do that, and not the nitro cells, which can stick to the floor. The frag grenades being able to be cooked was one of the few things that still made this game kind of tactical in a sense. I mean, I'm not like one of those people who think Siege isn't a tactical shooter anymore, but it's fallen from grace, and the old frag grenades being able to be cooked, I mean, that added to the whole tactical experience. Now it, now it just seems like a joke. I don't know, there's a lot of changes coming into this season, and they're not exactly being met with insanely positive reception. They've been pretty divisive amongst the community, which, I mean, I guess that's how most changes are, but I'm just seeing a lot more divisiveness between the community from these changes that are not even confirmed yet. <laughs> and I'm on the side of why are we doing this? I don't know, it just, it, it's dumb. I don't know who these changes are for other than that very small pro league. Like most of the people that I talk to, and you know, to be fair, that's a very small minority compared to the most Siege players, but of the few that I even asked, a lot of them said that the frag grenades were fine and the shields were fine. I, I don't know, man, this might be the season that kills Siege.